So, you got the mic on? So we got Big Brothers riding, fall edition. And guess what? The brothers aren't so big. Dale's lost 70 pounds. I've lost about 30 pounds. So we're going to go out on a ride today. Justin's kind of tiny anyways, no matter what. But that's okay. That's a great kid right there. So today we're in the uh, George Washington National Forest. We have a cabin up here. Uh, we're going to take the three bikes. We're going to go down the mountain, go up the Reddish Knob, go down around Briary Branch. Uh, and uh, out of bind, some of that, some of the back roads of Virginia here. Uh, just kind of go exploring. Maybe next time, uh, tomorrow, we'll go across over to uh, Stone Camp and uh, uh, Flagpole. All right, so we're gonna get going. So hey, uh, welcome once again to uh, Big Brother Cycling. And uh, here's a quick view of the mountains on which we ride. It's absolutely gorgeous and uh, it definitely is uh, a sight to behold up there seeing the mountains in their uh, fall splendor. So sit back and uh, come along with us. All right, so that's the gate experience. <clears throat> Talking to Big Brother Cycling. We're out here just trying to fine tune the bikes and fine tune what we're doing. We got to a little bit of new gear. I'm wearing a new helmet, a new setup, a new setup for the microphone. And uh, hopefully that is coming through much more clearly, much more uh, uh, defined than what it was on the last trip out. I do apologize for the hot mics the last time. And uh, we are definitely trying to uh, figure out where we're going to go for our ride today. We are on uh, Union Springs Road, which heads up into the mountains. You might be familiar with the phrase flagpole and some other uh, of the uh, stone camp and other areas up here uh, in the um, Shenandoah Valley. Definitely a gorgeous day. We're about October the uh, 15th, I think it is. And we've got some really gorgeous weather for riding. And uh, additionally, it's um, about uh, 65 degrees sunshine out here. It's, uh, it's just really nice. So very excited about that. And uh, very excited about uh, heading out and seeing what we can come up with. So for now, we're going to just let it record a bit. And we're going to go for a ride. Beautiful fall day we have here today. Justin's up there riding the 250R. They're calling for some really chilly temperatures later on this week, so we got up here this morning, saw that it was some really nice weather, got the bikes unloaded. Now we'll just head down the mountain, do a nice little three hour ride. Yeah, so coming off the mountains here, a little drone work of what you can see, uh, some of the area that we rode while we were there on, on day one. We've started to use a, a new uh, application called uh, Relive. Uh, you can find it at uh, both uh, Apple and Android. And essentially it's a mapping software that uh, we've started to use, but it, it's very cool, very easy to use. It keeps track of uh, where you've gone via satellite mapping. And while you're there, you can also, uh, while you're mapping it, you can take a fo few photos and, uh, and then they upload automatically and create this really very cool video. Shows where we headed over to uh, Reddish Knob and you can kind of see why it's Reddish Knob, but uh, it's an old uh, fire outlook uh, that's now just been purposed into uh, just a scenic overview for the most part. We uh, did make a couple of wrong turns, but uh, riding along the ridge line, we came back around and, and it was just fantastic uh, uh, riding for the day. Came across a few creeks and uh, a few streams, and then uh, we headed on up uh, back around through Audubon again, through uh, George Wine Road, uh, which uh, my last name being Wine does have kind of a special significance for us. Over through Spring Creek, and then of course you can see there's George Wine Road again, and then uh, back onto our route, uh, back up Union Springs Road and through the creek, and uh, back up to the cabin. 
It really is an amazing place to ride up there. We have a tremendous amount of fun. The roads are just, uh, you know, old fire roads, but they're fantastic. And it's an opportunity to get out and enjoy nature and enjoy uh, scenic vistas that we don't necessarily get here in Michigan and Indiana. Uh, but rather you get to see sites like this, which are just uh, just phenomenal in the, in the fall. I know one of the things we really like to do is uh, uh, sit out on the deck on uh, evening time and watch the lights come on one by one in the valley, and, and that's an amazing sight. But uh, just some of the uh, idea of how vast and how much wilderness is really out there just in Virginia, out near the Shenandoah Valley. Uh, very excited about being able to go and uh, sit back and watch as we uh, continue to move through uh, a little more cycling here at Big Brother Cycling. Enjoy! All right, so a few details about me. The last time I rode this, I was 320 pounds, and that was sometime back in July, and today I'm about 251, so we're talking a 70 pound difference on this uh, XL600R. More importantly, uh, my ability to move and keep my knees closer together and actually just ride seems to be big, a big improvement like just now getting up out of the saddle and, and trying for uh, a little bit of cycling here. So you can see the ridge line over here to my left. And we're kind of running along the ridge and running along the ridge line as we uh, head down the mountain here. Beautiful fall day, the leaves have fallen. There's a little bit of water in a few spots, but not too terribly bad. Oh, no, we're all right. We're good. Okay. So what we just turned there was what we call the first switchback going down, or the second switchback coming up, and we're heading down to the other switchback. So this really uh, sends this road up the side of the mountain very, very quickly, very steeply, especially going up. And uh, down is also a, you can get away from it in a hurry, as I found out one year on a three-wheeler as I came up to this switchback corner we're about to see. And, basically rolled it down over the switchback corner. So it was uh, an adventure then. I was probably eight or 10 years old and having fun out here on the bikes. But uh, Here we are, we approach the Second switch back on the way down. It's interesting to watch uh, the boys ride. There are a lot of leaves on the ground with some hidden rocks, so you gotta be really careful. Uh, just about riding here. This is not smooth road whatsoever. So, glad to have Justin along on this ride. Uh, he's been wanting to come down to the cabin for a while now. 
We've got some drone footage of the cabin, we'll show you. But uh, October is a beautiful time in the Virginia mountains and uh, love coming up here. So we are entering the George Washington National Forest. Got a beautiful stream here on the left. Kind of a nice sound of travel road here is right ahead of us. And uh, again, we're here in October the 15th, 2020. Capping off an absolutely uh, tough year for so many people, including ourselves. And uh, we are uh, just out here trying to enjoy the beautiful sunshine, the perfect temperature. And uh, we've never been in the uh, George Washington National Forest before. I've always been out here near it. But uh, this is absolutely uh, a wonderful spot. Really enjoying the uh, cycling with Joe and Justin. We filled up with gas at a local gas station back there. And now we are uh, headed a little deeper into the woods at this point. So here we go.
Oh, this is cool. Well, that's going to about wrap it up for the Big Brother cycling trip to the Virginia mountains. Uh, this was day one, we'll post day two here shortly, but uh, as you can see as we pull in on the cabin, kind of give you an idea of where we stay when we're out there. This was built by our grandfather back in 1960. What an amazing place to go, there's no electricity, no uh, running water, but I'll tell you what, the food is fantastic, tastes like nothing else on earth. The laughter is always ready, and uh, we really enjoy our time up there, both with friends and with family. So come along and ride with us. It's a beautiful ride in the Virginia mountains. Thank you.